Thor here. Ice Cream Canyon is located in this location, just north of State Line Ramp, on the other side of Wawape Island. For reference, this map is not up to date. Exact GPS coordinates and water level are in the description. Ice Cream Canyon Lake Pal. As you can see, the canyons are significantly smaller than they used to be. The many landings it once had shrunk down to only one that is capable of handling smaller boats like mine. Landing here was difficult though due to how steep the sandbank was. It was at the limit of what my boat could safely handle before I would have backflow issues and flood the engine. There were some natural tie-offs, but they were small and I would not recommend a large vessel attempt to use them. The shore conditions were a decent mud-sand mix and quite pleasant. The water quality and plant life were great. Many birds frequented this area. The beaches were nice but had stickers scattered around them, so best to wear open-toed shoes here. The plant life was dried sticker plants, but they were spread apart. The cove offered some really cool formations such as these weeping tefani. If this stays wet during the summertime, it could make a nice place to cool off without getting wet. Large cliffs adorned the walls of the canyon, but they were pretty easy to scale. The views from inside the boat were fantastic. The port side view was great and I could see State Line launch off in the distance. On the starboard side I could see the many weeping rocks and great cliffs behind my boat, an equally impressive view that I won't forget anytime soon. The cat also liked the view even though she stared at me most of the time. <laughs> the best part of this cove were the large weeping rocks behind my boat. They were quite pleasant to listen to and very cool to watch on the back deck. The natural acoustics of the cliff shape amplified the drops of water falling out of the sandstone and basically wrapped around the back side of my boat and the side. They were surprisingly loud and definitely my favorite part of this canyon. Overall, I really like this spot and I am glad I could enjoy it. It will be an experience I will never forget. Sadly, it is likely I will not bring my cruiser here again unless the beach levels out and is not so steep. I really was concerned about the angle my boat was sitting in the water, and I knew that the water was mere inches from flooding my engine at that angle. I would not have stopped here except the water was so nice and there was little to no chance of large waves from other boats exceeding my narrow threshold of flooding my engine. Overall everything went well though, and I would strongly encourage others to at least visit this spot. So without taking any more of your time, this is Thor, signing out.